Hello everyone, this is Basic Informatics. In this video, we are going to see about the Animal Tracker plugin in ImageJ. So basically, Animal Tracker is a plugin which is used to track the path of a uh, moving object in a fixed uh, time scale. So uh, we are already posted a video about uh, MTrack2 in ImageJ. So in the video, we explained that uh, how to install ImageJ and how to install the plugins. So just basically go to the tab and type uh, animal tracker uh, plugin image J. Here you can find the website for the link. So just uh, go and download. This uh, file will be in .jar format. It will be in the downloaded folder. So you have to uh, place this uh, downloaded file in the Fiji folder. I'm showing my example here. So. This is the folder where the plugin should be uh, installed. So just cut the dot jar and animal track dot jar file from downloads and uh, place it here. It would be fine. Then we are going to open uh, image J. Yeah. And just go to the plugins and click install so and uh, that then go to the folder where the Fiji is placed and go to the plugins and just click on this one to uh, install so I'm already installed it so I'm not doing it it will be easy there are a lot of uh, YouTube videos are showing that how to install the uh, plugins so I already installed it, it won't be a problem. So I can see the animal tracker plugin here. Yeah, cool, right? Yeah, then okay. So I'm I'm showing about the moving object, right? So the moving object should be or maybe in a video format, right? Example, MP, MP4, uh, AVI, H.264, H264. These are these are more advanced format. They are now used in the video encoding. So mostly uh, we record in MP4 format. So MP4 format is not taken by uh, image J. I'm showing an example here. So I'm having the video file which is in MP4 format. I'm just trying to open it. You just see it will ask a lot of uh, specifications to uh, open this file. So now we have we have to there are two ways you can use a plugin called movie ffm pg there are a lot of videos explaining on how to install this you can use this uh, plugin to import this mp4 file so yeah just unclick this one Uh, this mp4 format file is loaded here then uh, but we can convert this mp4 format to avi in uh, fiji so it will be uh, easy to open and do stuff so click save as and go to avi uh, if a uh, frame per second is 10 compression is jpeg fine with that and i'm now going to save this file as an api format so fine it's getting saved here i'm seeing my seeing just a glimpse here yeah this is the video this is the object this fish is the object we are now going to track this uh, path of the fish so this is a AVA format file okay and it's grayscale right uh, you can use other external tools to convert this mp4 to avi so i'm just preferring this it, it will be okay and easy to me it is already in grayscale you can convert it into grayscale while importing i'm just show how file just click import and click avi and uh, choose the file here this one 
I am just using uh, the some click the use virtual stack and convert to grayscale. Yeah, now our file is getting loaded here. Just uh, go uh, go back to the plugins now. Working on plugins. So this is the animal tracker plugin. After installation, it will look like this. This is the tools we can use for tracking. But there are uh, two forms of uh, templates which can be used for easy result analysis. So I am just using the radial maze here. So it's a rectangle rectangle right so it will be we can use a polygonal uh, shape for this radial uh, template so just uh, set image and just click this polygonal tool where we can uh, draw the polygonal shape just make sure uh, please draw a polygon with six face uh, which means uh, six angles. Fuji uh, needs a polygon, polygon with uh, which should be divided by three. So I'm going with the six uh, corner polygon here. And click set maze. Yeah, so yeah, it's selected. Fine now. So now we are going to run the tracker this is the processing window so just uh, click off so I'm going to do the filtering process now so just click uh, set filters filters add the so add it and i'm also not going to add the backgrounds or backgrounds of chapter and then add it and then add it okay i'm going to make some changes here click this one set image okay just add some random frames by moving on the curves so here and I'm going all the way down to make sure the connectivity show filter so here you can see it just close it and click done ok and uh, click ok so you can see it in this, this back um, in this window how our, our image moves right so our image object has properly been uh, tracked down so I'm going to set the threshold now just click set threshold ok uh, yeah our object has been properly selected and just click ok the threshold has been set and uh, click select the last frame so before that make sure our object is in this uh, make sure the object is in the starting frame so here we can easily properly uh, track the path if uh, this uh, object is here so the tracking process will start from this frame so make sure our object in, in the starting phase so I'm just going for uh, 10 here so this is the starting stage so uh, yeah sure so just uh, set the last frame to 449 so you can see the last frame here okay then cool then uh, 
make show blobs click this one yeah it has been selected so so you can see now uh, the tracking is going on yeah the tracking is getting finished now we can see the tracking so I'm just uh, moving those uh, curves over here you can see how the uh, object is getting traveled uh, literally the fish is getting traveled in the space yeah right we are properly caught this track path yeah cool right then this is how you can see the track basically this video i get i get it from my friend who has been working with this uh, zebra fish uh, he basically done uh, the app yeah, he basically studies the activity of a zebra fish in two different environments so so he can track this uh, path of the zebra fish and you can he can uh, translate that uh, path into see the difference between them uh, you, you can also use this type of uh, video a uh, tool for this tracking the path and now i'm going to export this uh, tracking path just uh, click uh, export tracking and uh, yeah it will be in text format so you can see the x and y coordinates of this uh, object yeah that's up that's up that's about these uh tracking you can see it properly see it in this uh, dog window so it's starting here and the path is being uh, properly tracked by our tracker cool super yeah so uh, now we can just uh, close this uh tracking it's been done just click ok so now we have to get some proper results from this uh, path right so just click uh, show track we can see the track here also the maze mm, yeah. then click uh, show tracker sorry so click show analyzer so you now we are going to analyze this path so this is our uh, analyzer so we have uh, the first term here so this is the second term this is the first first one is the first one so second one yeah so there is no distance and no time and uh, nothing no information right so so i want to uh, know the distance in the first uh, arm uh, so i'm clicking this uh free arm two so i'm going to and I, I just want the distance in this uh, arm one so so i'm just making it for the whole uh, frame go to analyze and set scale so you just get the distance in pixel so remember to copy it it will be useful i will explain in the later thing so then uh, we are going to configure the parameters here so let's go to time default one the mobility is not needed here i mean distance what is the distance now we are here we are going to paste this uh, file here so basically you have to make it divided by 100 so it will uh, go to four, 10 right the whole point and it's 4.10 so make it 4.10 okay and same for the last d go 
just for point on zero zero. Click OK. Yeah, so the parameter has been set here. So we have to click both arms uh, and phone uh, settings and click some some some. All things is being selected here and uh, just close and now click show results by parameters so here you can get the distance the value of the some of those frames you can get these mean values here yeah this is how you can work on it you can get you can uh, you can basically use this animal track to qualify the data so you have to uh, check the path of the object in two different states you can use this animal tracker it would be very much useful so you can also get to see the mean values of the whole file here i think in, in the day in terms of quantitativeness I, it's not somewhat uh, so useful so you can use this uh, as a qualitative uh, tool so thanks that's been my time you can uh, save the measurement so uh, measurement is in bin file in bin file well this is the track of the object it's okay so it's cool so please support us and uh, thank you for watching this video